Alright, now you can see what Sophie does to distract him. And this, uh, you pretty much have to guess the right answers to this, and if not, then you pretty much lose. So, T-Bang, T-Bang is the type of person who hates having his own words used against him. And there's three answers. Three guesses. I thought you told us the only word that, the, that only the worthy can find the grail. What makes you think Robert can solve the cryptex and the police are coming to bang? To bang. The thing was, the first thing was, if you remember in the past, he said only the worthy can find the grail. So the first answer is the first one. I thought you told us that only the wealthy can find the grail. What makes we can solve the cryptex? And we'll do that. You quickly have to solve payments. Have you made it my life work? And then that will stop it, and then you have to answer the next one. But here we are, and Roberts, you must make your decision. There's three things you have to do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure you can see all three ones so you can see the answer. The one thing that I have always wanted the most to release the sundry old documents to the public as they were always intended to be by the priory. If the Priory wanted to release the documents, so Mir would have done so. Ah, but I discovered a terrible truth. The reason the documents were not released at the beginning of the new millennium, at the ultimate moment of truth, Jacques Sangier had changed his mind. So you blame Sangier because the Sangriel documents were never released? Wait. The TV is behind everything. And Compel's death. She has no emotion. <laughs> and then the next one is, um, you are the re you're the one responsible for my grandfather's murder. The Sangriel documents can never be released. It is your own fault the documents were never released. The first one, if you remember what she said, it says you are the you are responsible for my grandfather's murder. You are the one responsible for my grandfather's murder. It seems to be working. I'm going to make sure that you can see what everyone says, so I'm going to go really slowly this way so you can see the last answer. So now you'll be able to see what the last one is supposed to pick. What could the church possibly have over Sonier? The church has 2,000 years of experience pressuring those who threaten to unveil its lies. Since the days of Constantine, the church has successfully hidden the truth about Mary Magdalene and Jesus. We should not be surprised that now, once again, they have found a way to keep the world in the dark. The church may no longer employ crusaders to slaughter non-believers, but their influence is no less persuasive, no less insidious. Employing crusaders has specific influences. He's not just describing the church. Is he a complete hypocrite? He has done everything that he says he hates the church for. So, first response, you are no better than the church. The church has nothing to do with your warped fantasy. The church has nothing to hide. The answer, of course, is you are no better than the church. You are no better That's than the last response you need. Work. Now for the next part. What are you talking about? You manipulated Silas and Remy. If you get it for that, you would have gotten it. This is how conversation. But everything I did was to expose the truth. Oh, no, my dear. You have no idea of what you speak. Perhaps I can illustrate my point with something you've been wondering about since you were old enough to think. Miss Nehu, for some time, your grandfather has wanted to tell you the truth about your family. How could you know that? Are the There's actually one more response, I'll tell you after what it is. Right now is this. The deaths of your mother, father, grandmother, and brother were not accidental. What are you saying? Robert, it explains everything. All the pieces fit. History repeats itself. The church has a precedent of murder when it comes to silencing the sun real. With the end of days imminent, killing the Grand Master's loved one sent a very clear message. Be quiet. You and Sophie are next. These are just theories, but there is one murder to be blamed. Even if the church did And this is where you get your last response. 
And now you have taken over where the judge has left That's what your last response would have been if you couldn't have finished it. You have no proof about what happened to my parents. But now we do know one truth. It was you who murdered my grandfather. It was his own fault. He and his seneschal lied to silence. Otherwise, I would have obtained the keystone without complication. How was I to imagine that Grand Master would go to such ends to deceive me and bequeath the keystone to an estranged granddaughter? Someone so unqualified to hold this knowledge that she required a symbologist babysitter. So it was you the entire time? One way or another, the keystone was coming to Chateau Villette. Silas was supposed to steal it from you there, thus removing you from the equation without hurting you and exonerating me from any suspicion of complicity. However, when I saw the intricacy of Sonnier's codes, I decided to include you both in my quest a bit longer. I could have Silas steal the keystone later, once I knew enough to carry on alone. The temple church. But you still need a scapegoat. Someone to blame for the murders that lead to the miraculous recovery of the Sangreal documents. I am afraid that Silas served his purpose all too well. As we speak, he is no doubt under the arrest of the police, and he is a well-known member of Manor's death. Listen, can you hear it? The Grail is speaking to us across the centuries. She's begging to be saved from the priory folly. I implore you both to recognize this opportunity. We need to swear an oath together. A pledge of faith to one another. A knight's allegiance to uncover the truth and make it known. I will never swear an oath with my grandfather's murderer. Except the oath that I will see you go to prison. I am sorry you feel that way, mademoiselle. And you, Robert. You with me? Or against me? I know how to find the answer. Let Sophie go, and we'll figure it out together at Newton's tomb. I am not going anywhere. That cryptic was given to me by my grandfather. It is not yours to open. Sophie, please. You're in danger. I'm trying to help you. Robert, my grandfather would prefer his secret lost forever than see it in the hands of his murderer. Shoot me if you have to. I am not leaving my grandfather's legacy in your hands. Very well. No, Lee, if you even think about it, I will drop this. That bluff won't work on me. I know you better than that. Do you, Lee? I am a lone knight, surrounded by unworthy souls. Very well, a show of faith. Set the cryptex down. You'll shoot us both as soon as I do. I have to protect Sophie and the Grail. So, yes, the final answer would have been... If you didn't get done, and now you have taken over where the church left off. That would have been the final answer. And now, in the next part, you will see the final cutscene and the last place before we I do the bonus content.